around Potter's work. Today, we made a chair for Mom for Mother's Day, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. And we worked all stinking day on it, and it's hot, so hopefully she likes it. And here it is behind us. Let's see if we can get it to show up. There we go. Time lapse and some instructions to follow. It's going to be stained and finished, and it's going to also have some cushions on it when it's done. So that's not the finished product. Hey, but that's going to be tomorrow. That's going to be tomorrow. Okay, I know I said it was just gonna be a time lapse and not actual instructions, but couldn't resist. This should make it pretty easy. So you're gonna need uh, six two by sixes cut at 28 and a half inches, four two by sixes cut at 25 inches, two two by fours cut at 31 and a half inches. Those are the armrests. Two two by fours at 25 inches, four two by fours at 22 and a quarter inches five two by fours at 25 inches and you're gonna need one two by four that's 25 and a half inches long and you're gonna rip it down the middle and um, that's gonna be the supports for the seat slats um, all this stuff if you don't have the equipment to cut it very easy to go to the hardware store um, a lot of the ones will charge you you know a quarter per cut um, some of them are, are better than that just have them cut them for you at these links so you can assemble them at home and we're gonna go into the time lapse here of the assembly do also just want to note when I was sanding earlier I wasn't really sanding them for smoothness although you probably should do that I did do that a little bit on the armrest but since I planed them with my planer they're already pretty smooth um, I was trying to basically knock the burrs off of the edges of the boards from the chop saw um, these are the seat slats so they're not gonna be exposed so I didn't worry about these five but the rest of them I tried to make sure and knock those corners down and then also I wanted to uh, just let you know what I'm going to be using for installation and assembly. Um, basically I'm just going to use a speed square just in the corners to make sure everything's square. I'm going to have a drill and an impact driver. Uh, the drill does have a pilot bit on it with a countersink attached to it just to make sure the screws are flush with the surface. And you want to make sure and pilot your screws so you don't split your wood since we're going to be putting some screws close to the ends. And then also I'm using a number two square impact driver. Uh, our number two square bit in my impact driver that goes right along with my galvanized deck screws um, you can see there the Phillips head um, but they also have a square drive in the center um, the square drive is much easier to use it doesn't strip out hardly ever and then I'm going to use some two and a half inch also um, you could use two and three quarter which would probably be better actually um, I have these on hand so I'm going to use those and then I'm going to be using glue at all my joints just to ensure a nice uh, long lasting product and then my tape measure. Um, the glue also you could probably get an outdoor glue would be better um, but I had this on hand so I'm going to go that route and uh, we're going to get started here shortly. Okay for the first step we're going to be using two of our 22 and a quarter inch 2 by 4s and they're basically going to be laying here and I'll get a better view of this in a second and they're going to be using three of our uh, 28 and a half inch two by sixes. Okay, they're gonna go together in this configuration and they're not spaced evenly yet. These are gonna be three quarters of an inch apart and they're, the top board is gonna be flush with the top of your uh, two by four. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and go into a time lapse real quick while I build this and you're gonna build two of these identical so um, this is going to be the outside face of it when it's done so make sure that your nicer sides are facing up as you're assembling it this way and we'll get started Okay, so just so you can see, I went ahead and just trying to see here behind the camera, just countersunk all the holes and just barely below the surface there so the screws will just be, you know, just visible. And uh, I went ahead, when I, you can see down there, I did uh, three quarter inch slats between just to kind of help me hold them there while I was marking it. And I went an inch and a quarter in on the edge of each board. So I was making sure I won't split the, split the lumber out and I'm three quarters of an inch in from the edge, so it centers me on my board there. So, well, not quite centered, but it'll be close. Okay, so we got our two sides done. Uh, next step is going to be to put the uh, armrests on top of these. And again, this is the inside faces, and then the outsides are over here. I took my screw holes, if you can see, they're three quarters of an inch from the edge of the board. And I tried to measure them out so they were you know, centered and evenly spaced down the front of the board. And we'll get going on that next. And the step after that's going to be uh, putting the slats across, uh, well, we'll be back here actually, the back the three slats, and then we'll do the two front slats and the uh, supports for the seat slats, and then we'll be pretty much done after that point. So we'll get going here. Okay got some pilots drilled and uh, I'm gonna put a couple more in in a minute but I'm gonna use three inch long deck screws to go down into the into the slats and I'm gonna put a little bit of glue under it and then uh, we'll move on to the next step after I screw them down Okay, our next step is going to be taking some of our 25 inch 2x6s. We're going to have three of them on the back. You can see here we're going to, we're going to screw through each one of these boards. It's going to be just like this. We're going to run a screw from the outside into the end of our board, just like you did on the outside of the legs, but just on the back. And we're going to use our 3 quarters of an inch gap again between the boards. And then once we do that, we're gonna put our cap on the back also, like so, to kind of finish it all out. And then we'll do the front slats after that. So we'll go ahead and get started on that now. Okay, we have our cap on the back. So this is what the back's gonna look like once that's on there. And take care to make sure this board is flush with the top of this board. I wasn't paying attention, I got a little bit high, I'm gonna have to sand that just a touch. 
or maybe I won't, I don't know. Anyway, uh, the back's all put together. Screws are through the sides, like so, all the way down. And now we're going to do the front, which is going to be across here, here to here. It's gonna be another 25 inch two by six. And then we're gonna have a 25 inch two by four above it right here. And that's gonna be the top of where our slats are gonna sit. So um, we'll go and do that now. And we'll stop again when we're done with that and recap. Okay, we got our front on now. We have our 25 inch two by six, our 25 inch two by four, and we have those secured in from the sides, like the rest of them, like so. You can see them there, with our three inch deck screws. And the next step is going to be, I'll have my son hold the camera here so I can kind of illustrate what we're gonna do next. We're gonna take our two by two, which was our two by four that we ripped in half, earlier for the slats and we're gonna put it in here. The reason you rip it down is so it doesn't show when we drop it down through this slot, side slot. So it's gonna be an inch and a half below the top of this. It's gonna be level all the way back. And that way our slats will sit flush with our front facing piece here. Now on these, uh, you're gonna to wanna to use the shorter screws, the two and three quarters or the two and a half, whichever you have. Um, otherwise your screws are gonna poke through the other side. So. Um, everything else up to this point has been with three inch deck screws. This will be the final step with the shorter screws. And I'll also secure my slats down with the shorter screws too. Um, we'll go ahead and do that now and we'll be pretty much done after that. Here's the finished product. Looks pretty good. Just needs to uh, be stained and sealed, which we'll probably do tomorrow. And get some cushions on it, obviously, because it's not real comfortable at the moment. But it does look pretty nice. And glad to be done. It's getting warm out, so it's been warm all day. But uh, thanks for watching. We'll try to get a finished picture um, with the stain done for the thumbnail hopefully, and it'll kind of give it a little better idea of what it's gonna look like. Thanks for watching again.